We're just about a month away from the start of Minnesota's legislative session, and already some of the state's newest lawmakers are looking to hit the ground running. Today, Grant Housechild, a senator-elect for Minnesota's 3rd District, plans to introduce a bill to help hundreds of laid-off workers on the Iron Range. Northern News Now's Quinn Gorham sat down with Housechild to hear why. The hope is that it comes back on in the fall, you know, that this isn't a permanent thing. Uh, we've been through the boom and bust before, um, and, you know, we, we probably will survive. Back in February, 410 employees at two Cleveland Cliffs North Shore mining facilities were laid off as the mines idled. Now, months later than planned, those facilities are still idled and all those workers still unemployed. Those em employees, you know, had unemployment due to that idling, but that unemployment ends here in November. In January, Grant Housechild, state senator-elect from the 3rd District, will inherit constituents from Babbitt and Silver Bay, the two communities impacted by the closure. He says he hopes to tackle the issue right away. Those employees are going to be without um, unemployment during the holiday season, during the winter months. Um, and so throughout the campaign, I've been calling for a special session to address this. With no success on a special session, Housechild will instead work with Representative Dave Lisligard, a fellow DFLer, to introduce a new bill in January. The legislation would extend up to 26 weeks of unemployment benefits for all of the workers who were laid off, as well as pay them retroactively for missed checks. I want people to know that this is what I'm prioritizing because it's really the biggest need right now in the district. Uh, certainly, we're going to work on all the other issues as well and be ready to go with those. But this is this is something that needs to be out there right away so that these workers know that this relief is coming. House Child confident the measure will pass across party lines. Uh, we have other Iron Range legislators that are on the other side of the aisle and they know that this is a critical need as well. In Duluth, Quinn Gorham, Northern News Now. In their latest update, Cliffs said the mines will remain closed until at least mid-2023.